get caught up with Mike on his fitness journey, on his political journey, on his everything he does. Oh, and a special episode with White Castle Incredible Burgers. Hey everyone, welcome to Mike on Raw. Yeah, I've been busy these days. It's been a while since I've had video up because I've been busy. Got a job promotion, it's kept me busy, and I've been working out. Let's talk a little bit about it. Oh yeah, it's raining out, but I gotta get to the gym. So for the past 16 weeks, I've been working out regularly with Bianca and Nimai from veganfitness.com in the True Strength Challenge. It's been great fun. It's been very enjoyable. I wish I could keep doing it forever. So I've got one more eight week session that I'm gonna be doing. It's helped me really raise my workouts much higher than I thought I was at. I always thought I was doing a great job with my workouts, but me and my his programming really showed me how long I was. Also, the meal plans have been very helpful. Getting the macros adjusted so that I'm actually now regularly using about a pound a week has been a great thing. And just having the community that's available there has been great as well. So let's get the details on this program. It's an eight-week program. You get weekly check-ins with Nima and Bianca. You also get a chance to email them directly and get your questions answered. They love to answer your questions. You get macro programming from them so they give you your macro breakdown they provide menus of foods that you can use to meet those macros they give us uh, daily workouts one week at a time and they give us the type of feedback we need for our check-in so you check in once a week you give any comments or concerns you have they give you back feedback if you want to go further you can give them emails and get it it's a really interactive type thing. Plus you get access to a Facebook group where you get to talk with other people having the challenge. It's really a powerful tool to use in your fitness journey. I know for me, I see having a third party looking outside at my program really helps me take my exercise to the next level. For over a year, I was probably just kind of in a rut with my exercise and joining these programs really allowed me to raise it up to a place where I had never even thought of taking it before. I've lost about 12 pounds over this uh, 16 weeks. I've gained significant strength both in my back and arms and legs and chest. Um, it's really amazing what can happen when you have a more focused effort with your physical fitness and you have people that are supporting you and that's the type of program this is there's a link down below in the description you can click on that link when you use that you get ten dollars off signing up it's not a free program but it's not a super expensive program either and in the end, you don't even need to do that. I'm not asking you to do that. I'm just saying that if you want to get a deal, you can do it there. I do find having someone from outside helping lets my workouts be better. Put down in the comments what you think about having a third party help you on your workouts. Just wrapped up my workout, got cardio done. So I'm a little sweaty, glasses are all messed up. But I just want to say, if you want to join, feel free to join. It's not free. It isn't expensive, but it's not free. And you can save 10 bucks if you use my code or use my link that's in the description below. But that's not the only thing that's been keeping me busy. I've also been doing a lot of work with the Humane Party. And you may be wondering, what is the Humane Party? Well, it's the only political party in America that is for animal abolishment of their use. And I volunteer with that party. Let's talk a little bit about- So what's this about the Humane Party? Well, as I said, it's the only political party in the US that supports 
abolishment of using animals for anything. And that's one of the main reasons why I support them. But they also support so many other things that I think vegans are generally in support of as well. I'm going to suggest you click on the link down below and go see the platform and decide for yourself is the Humane Party one that you're interested in as well. Because if they are, please think about volunteering. It's really simple. It's really easy. Uh, you get to participate in calls with other members of the Humane Party. You get to help guide the future of the Humane Party to be aligned with what's going on in veganism around the world. And you're really helping animals. And you might say, well, how am I helping animals? For me, the reason why I am involved with the political end of things because I feel politics are one of the places where real change is going to be able to occur. We're going to need new laws. We're going to need people that stand up in senates, in council rooms, and stand up for the animals and have some force of law behind them. We need the ability to help change people's minds in a way that follows along the legal paths within the United States. Now I know there's a section of veganism that is trying to uh, break down current political systems. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. But right now we have the political system we have. And if we're going to want to change the way that animals are dealt with in that political system, we have to be in that political system and have our voice heard. I'm also going to link down in the description below about how important it is for vegans to vote vegan and how that can impact things in the real world. And so that's one of the other things that's been keeping me busy over the past uh, nine to ten months is volunteering with the Humane Party. Not because it keeps me too busy that I don't get to do the things I care about, but because this is one of the things I care about. Well, it's time for me to go donate some blood. I also recommend people donate blood if you can. It's one of the most impactful ways, one of the most direct ways you can impact another human's life. You can actually help save lives by donating blood. So I recommend it. I hope you're having a great day. I'm still busy keeping up going to the gym, keeping up with Humane Party. I actually have some new recipes that I make, need to make. I'll put some pictures of the new recipe books I got from uh, Gianna. Great recipe books. And I'm looking forward to winter coming up where I'll have a chance to focus on stuff indoors and less stuff outdoors. Keeps me busy dealing with my grandkids that I have. I'm fun with grandkids. Oh, and the other thing I'm doing right now is I'm playing D&D. &D. My sons and I and a few of their friends have gotten together a little band of warriors and we're playing D&D &D on game nights. An opportunity for us to set our phones down, set the internet down and just kind of enjoy a conversation with each other, which is always a highly recommended thing to do. We'll see you guys all later. Thanks so much for watching. Got any questions about what I'm doing? Any thoughts about veganism? Any thoughts about the Humane Party? How about Bianca and Nimai? Great team, huh? Comment down below. Bye. Hey everyone, special edition for this video, just a little extra thing. I did donate some blood. And so you got the band on here. Uh, I'll put my vitals on the screen with this. One of the benefits of giving blood is you get to find out where your vitals are. And mine are doing pretty good. The other thing that I found was that right across the street was a white castle. And in the interest of replenishing myself after I donated a bunch of blood, so I did eat a smoothie after my workout, so it's not that necessary. I thought I would try out the Impossible Burger at White Castle. I've heard about it. I've never had an Impossible Burger here before, so why not try one at White Castle? Here's what they come in a container. It says Impossible on that. Here's what the patty, the burger looks like. Here's what the patty looks like. 
pretty plain, pretty normal. It's a round patty. One thing I notice is they're not, they don't seem to be cooking them in the onions. Uh, like they steam them with onions because there's no onions like attached to the patty. The bun, bun doesn't have like onions in it like you normally will find. I think that's something that'd be nice to add. But anyways, let's take a bite. It has the substance of something more solid than a typical veggie patty. Um, if I was going to compare it to say the Beyond Meat uh, vegan burgers, I'd say uh, it's seasoned a little bit more. It's a little less oily. I don't know if that's unique to White Castle, the way they're preparing them, or if that's just the Impossible Burger. It's less less juice but it's good I mean this is this is not health food by any means this is certainly healthier than regular ground animal products but this isn't a health food you know a health food is going to be like some plums I have over there or some tomatoes I have there or, or some frozen food I have in the freezer those are healthy foods whole plant foods but if you're on the road finding a white castle around or you've got friends that aren't vegan and they want to stop somewhere and they're willing to go to a white castle um, i think the white castle thing's a good deal i even noticed when they were making them in the back one of the persons reminded uh, the worker that when they were making the burgers that they had to change their gloves which is very interesting shows that there's an effort on the White Castle organization's part to meet uh, a need within the vegan culture, to have a plant-based burger that isn't necessarily corrupted by animal products. They seem to have no problem keeping the cheese off of there. Um, I think the next thing I'd like to see White Castle have would be a vegan cheese option, just because there's so many people that like vegan cheese. I'm not a cheese person. I don't really need vegan cheese. But I know some people do, and it'd be great to see that option. Well, that's the end of this special section of the video. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye.